Hey everybody, Matt Cutler from Block Native here to give an advanced tutorial on how to use our new Mempool Explorer interface to work with custom or, or local ABIs. Um, now at Block Native, we support um, many uh, ABIs for common contracts in the ecosystem out of the box on the back end, but you may doing, be doing your own smart contract development or you often will come across uh, contracts that you're interested in that we're not decoding. Now the good news is we provide built-in facilities to upload local ABIs, decode them, and actually filter on them in the, on the fly. So here we're looking at one inch exchange, um, and out of the box, we do not support the one inch exchange ABI. So you can see here's a pending transaction. We have an input, but we can't really see what's going on here, what it's about. We wanna be able to look at um, the contract calls and method names. Now the good news here is it's fairly easy to get going. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on the to address here. It's gonna pop over to our friends at Etherscan. You can see here's the contract that's associated with one inch, one inch exchange. And here is the contract tab. Now when I scroll down, I will find the ABI. Um, which is great. So what I'm gonna do is just copy that and I get a confirmation. And then all I need to do is open up my text edit or similar your favorite uh, text editor application. Uh, you gotta make sure this is in plain text mode, but we're just gonna paste that in there right now. And I, what I'm gonna do is save this as one inch exchange um, and it's gotta be .json, okay? Um, now we're gonna use .json, that files on my local file system. And then as I flip over here, you can see these events are still coming in. Here associated with the one inch exchange subscription, I have this little ABI button. And when I click on that, it's gonna invite me to upload my ABI JSON file. Of course, that's the one we just created. And when I hit open, this turns green, which basically means it's a valid ABI and is now accepted. And so now let's watch what happens. This will apply to transactions detected going forward look, we're decoding the contract calls on the fly. We can see that the um, exactly what is happening in each transaction. This is the method name swap. And every transaction moving forward will include this. Now, this is obviously really helpful if you're trying to um, make sense of all of this, but even more helpful is now that we have the ABI, you can actually apply subscription filters using these controls. So here is our one inch exchange uh, subscription. I click on the subscription filter plus, I want to enable that. Now I can go to contract call and method name. And again, the operator could be either includes or matches. But now what I see here, this list of method name includes are all the major functions associated with the one inch exchange contract as decoded by the ABI. So I can specifically select out specific function calls against this contract and criteria against them to see exactly what I want. Uh, this is one of the more powerful features of Block Native Mempool Explorer. And again, you can have multiple subscriptions, each with their own ABIs, each of which are filtered in ways of your choosing and specification. And the whole idea here is to give you maximum flexibility um, and ease of use when working with live mempool data. So again, that was a quick overview of a relatively advanced capability of Block Native Mempool Explorer, which is local ABI decoding and um, uh, subsequent filtering. Happy mempool exploring. Thanks. Bye.